breaking news just in. The Spawn Point Space Agency mission to Mars is landing today in the world's first attempt to live on another planet. Captain Rad will be the sole human on the initial setup trip, building facilities for the colonists that will follow. Sol 1. The landing went smoothly. So far, so good. I've got drones to help me build stuff, a rover to explore with, a rocket ship full of supplies, and a transport unit to help move stuff around. Welcome to Mars. My first solar panels have gone up to give me power, and water and oxygen are on the way. I've started with a good stockpile of resources, and I'm even harvesting some concrete we found on Mars. This space colonizing stuff is easy. Although, um, the interface is not the best. Every time I try to build something or command a rover, I'm clicking left and right, and it's all too easy to accidentally cancel an order. Plus, it doesn't show me whether a planned building is connected to a planned power cable or not. It only works when one is already built. <sighs> I've wasted ages scrapping buildings and trying to get things to connect. Surviving Mars is hard enough without the controls getting in the way. Not to mention, I've barely been taught what to do here. I'm figuring things out as I go. And you might say, hey, Rad, that's the job. You signed up for it. You wanted to be a space pioneer. But I've run cities before, and they always at least had a handbook. Remember when I was El Presidente of Tropico? Now that was a city that knew how to get things done. But you know, it's cool. Hey, do you want to see something cool? It's science. I can research all this stuff to get new buildings and different perks. And I love me some perks. Pretty cool, right? Sol 14. Hey, guess what? We have a dome. This is where colonists are going to live and work and hopefully give birth to the first Martians. And it looks cool, man. Of course, we have limited space to build in here, and there's no way that I can fit housing, production, and social spaces in the same dome, but that's life, baby, on Mars. Sol 17. Exciting times, space fans. The first humans are arriving to live in the home I've built for them. Milestone achieved. So they sent the colonists here with... 10 souls worth of food. To keep people alive and thriving, I need to grow more food on a planet where nothing grows. Luckily, I've got a botanist. Botanists, of course, are plant scientists, so there's no one better to be growing our food. In fact, there's a production bonus when people with specialized skills work in their specific fields. And we're going to need to be as productive as possible because uh, resources are starting to get a little scarce. Sol 43. So, uh, we've hit a small hiccup. Dust covers everything, which means you have to repair it. But repairing it costs resources. Even with millions of dollars in funding, I'm quickly running out of the materials I need to keep this place running. Luckily, I can order a cargo rocket to bring me all sorts of goodies from Earth, like new buildings or precious resources. But we've sprung a leak in the life support and we're rapidly losing oxygen and water. I can't seem to command the drones to fix it directly, so I just have to wait until their automatic programming kicks in. But I can't find the metal I need to fix it, even though my stock list says I have it here somewhere, so I can't bring it to the right area, so the drones can't start fixing. It's so frustrating. Sol 74. God, things are bad. Half my base doesn't have power, I've run out of almost every resource, and I don't have enough left to start producing or fixing anything. In the face of overwhelming odds, I'm left with only one option. I'm gonna have to science the socks off this. I need to research 40 technologies by Sol 100, which means I need to get cracking. Resources are low. Sol 92. Each dome is hanging by a thread. I've had two rovers malfunction. I have zero money for a cargo rocket and there's no resources left on Mars. My only hope for any kind of victory is this research goal. Sol 100. Research complete. I did it! 
I researched 40 technologies by Sol 100. Science, baby. But life on Mars keeps trucking on, and there's not really a reward for reaching that goal. I like how challenging it's been to build a sustainable city on the red planet, even if the controls kept getting in my way. There's mystery, cool technology, and a huge map to conquer. I just wish it was more satisfying to achieve those milestones rather than just endlessly surviving Mars. I'm gonna give this experience three out of five rubber chickens. Congratulations, Captain Rad. Wait, were you here this whole time, Darren? You could have helped me. 